Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP self learning video series. In today's tutorial, we'll be going to work on an, a very important function in ClickView that is called aggregation functions or AGGR function. So let's understand what is AGGR function and then we'll see a scenario and based on that scenario, we'll apply an AGGR function in a ClickView scripting. So what is AGGR function? AGGR is a very powerful function and it lets us perform aggregations over a set of dimensions. It creates a kind of a temporary tables of results from which you can select and perform more aggregations. So by using AGGR function, a temporary table will be created after the calculations, after the uh, the based on the results we get from the AGGR function, it has it is the results stored in a temporary table, and then we can pull the data from the temporary table and dis and uh, prepare charts or reports and dashboard based on that data from that temporary table. This AGGR function can be used both with expressions and dimensions. The result of AGGR can be used in other aggregated function as well. Means once we have applied an AGGR function on a dimension or in an expression, the output or the result which we got from that uh, expression, we can use that expression or the result we can use to get uh, used in the another aggregated function as well. And it is a similar to group by clause in SQL. Like in, in SQL, we have a group by clause. So AGGR function is similar to that. So let's take a scenario. And the scenario here is, I'll just try to explain you by a simple example. Let's suppose we have got a data table. This data table has got two columns. One is a, one field is customer, another field is value. And you can see there are five records, two records from A, two records from B, one record from C. And uh, my requirement is that I would, we would like to get the maximum value by customer. So if we try to do it, so we have a maximum value by customer. So the maximum value by A is 30. Maximum by value by B is 15 and the maximum value by C is 40. And if we want to calculate the minimum out of those. So let's say first of all, we get the maximum value. So maximum value based on the customer is 30, then 15, then 40. And if we, if we want to get the minimum value out of this out the result, the minimum value is 15. So So what we have done, we have, we'll be going to do this by using aggregation function and by using aggregation function, first of all, we'll get the maximum value and store in a table and then we'll run another aggregation function on that temporary table and we'll get the, uh, we'll pull out the minimum value. So our dimension is a customer. We are, we, we are using on customer dimension and the expression is the maximum value. Expression here is the maximum value. So as you can see here, I have write down the uh, the aggregation function is AGGR max value on customer dimension. So what it will do, it will pull the or it will get the data based on the customer dimension and the maximum value. So it will it will find out the maximum value accord based on the customer. So customer A maximum value is 30, customer B maximum value is 15 customer C maximum value is 40 and later on if you want to get the minimum so on the same aggregation function we use another aggregation function or the result which we get from the aggregated function we apply that aggregated function result to get the minimum value out of that so we get the minimum so minimum is the 15 so like this we can get the get uh, we can achieve our result or output. So this is a very Basic example. Let's see a, a, a real-time example. And in real-time example, in order to display the real-time example, I have already prepared a dashboard. That's my dashboard. And in that dashboard, I'm working on ad some advanced expressions. And uh, I would like to display. We have got the data here. And if I'll show the data model, first of all, let me show the data model to you. That's the data model. We have got a main data, and that's the data model which I'm using for my uh, for this click view. Click view document. So I'm using this data model for click view document here. 
and in this data model we have got we have got the carrier name in main data we have got carrier name and based on this carrier name my requirement is this that I would like to know that how many interstate routes each carrier covers. So we have got we have got a carrier name a carrier name dimension and based on that carrier name dimension I would like to display the interstate routes covered by each carrier name. So we can simply create a chart to the uh, based on this. So as you can see here we have carrier name and it has it's covering 1145 routes interstate routes. So let's see how to achieve this kind of table this kind of uh, chart in click view. So for this I right click on the shear object and click on chart and for this I'm going to use a straight table and for the heading I use here heading interstate routes by carrier and click on next and the dimension I choose the dimension as a carrier name. I select a dimension carrier name as a dimension. Click on next and the requirement is the how many interstate routes each carrier covers. So each carrier so it will be a distinct carrier. So we have to get the distinct carrier. So I write here count count function distinct and count distincts from two state code from to state code and okay and I'll I'll change it a label I give a la assign a label to this inter state routes and apply okay so you can see we have got the interstate routes by each airline and let's do the more customization so I get to the number and integer this will be the pattern and okay so I have got this the interstate routes as accord, as com, uh, according to the carrier name. So each carrier name we have got this much of interstate routes 148, 1485, 1470. So they are operating in these interstate routes. But let's say this is a simple expression. Then if we want if we would like to use the aggregation function on the same chart. So that's my requirement. So our this is our real requirement. So our requirement is we could display a straight table with the number of interstate route as the dimension. So now I would like the interstate routes which we have which we have display here. This is an expression and this is a dimension. Now I would like to use I would like to convert this expression into a dimension and as you know that in dimension we can have we can add only those fields which are available in our data model. So this interstate routes is a calculated calculated expression. So we don't have this field available in our data model. We don't have any interstate route field available in our data model. So as I have already clearly mentioned here that we don't have number of interstate route fields in our data model and nor can be added as a calculated field in the script because the calculation varies with each user selections. So we cannot specify a query in the script as well. So what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to add this we need to convert the expression into a dimension. So let's see how to how to get the interstate route as a dimension when we do not have any we, when we don't have the field available in our data model. So in order to do that we need to use the aggregation function. So aggregation function will be help into that. So I'll do one thing I'll just right click on it and convert it and I'll get to dimension. I'll, so I edit this and instead of this carrier name I will be going to use the aggregation function. So how to use aggregation function I write AGGR aggregation function and count distinct from two state code and as respective to carrier name and OK apply and OK. So and also we can assign a label interstate routes and the expression will be okay expression will be same expression is okay and instead of this from two state code this will be as respective to carrier name distinct carrier name so this will be distinct carrier name and okay and instead of its in distinct carrier name I'll give here hash of carriers 
apply and okay so you can see we have got interstate routes and hash of carrier so these are the so there are total 48 carriers who are operating in two in, who are operating in two interstate routes there are 31 carriers who are operating in one interstate route there are 21 carriers who are operating four different in, interstate routes so like this we can use aggregation function so basically if i if we see the if we see the uh, the expression here so this expression we have added as a calculated dimension and what it will do when we calculate it when we run this when we run this expression it will calculate the distinct from to state code based on the carrier name and it will count the total number of uh, total number of records and it will be stored in a temporary table and that temporary table will be marked as an interstate route here so like this we can use or we can generate we can generate a new dimension by using aggregation function so this is aggregation function in click view that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com or you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on click view till then have a nice day ahead goodbye